welcome back to another episode of Neon Swell. Thanks for tuning in. Now, if you remember from last episode, I fiberglassed the back transom with a few layers of 1708 and got a bit of epoxy stuck in my hair. I may or may not have removed this from my head with a little bit of acetone. I then started the 5 gallon water jug holders under the V-berth and next to the galley, only to move on and do a bit of work on the galley slider. Now if you're new to this channel, this is my 22 foot sailboat which I plan to sail to the Bahamas and explore some of the remote areas of these islands. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks again for tuning in to another episode. Hopefully you get some enjoyment out of this one and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Alright, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Neon Swell. This is number 18. Now in this episode, I start to take a look at the back companionway step down which I created in this episode and go ahead and cover the porter potty which sits underneath as you see there. I then move on to add another support member to the back galley slider and do a little wiggling back under the second bed extension to get to that. And then to round everything off, I go ahead and start to look at the companionway slider above me and re-core and re-fiberglass everything to make sure it's up to par. Now if you're new here, I really hope you hit that subscribe button as there will be more videos to come, but this is a 22 foot sailboat that I purchased off of Craigslist in absolutely terrible condition. I spent the last two years redoing and re-coring the whole boat and it's taken me quite a bit, so hopefully you can go back and watch some of the other episodes and I think you'll really enjoy this build. Thanks for watching. Okay, so I'm starting to look at the top companionway step down for the boat. Now I cut out a few pieces of foam yesterday. Now I made it out of like inch and a half foam and I plan on cutting a little hole for the, the top of the porter potty and that'll just act as like kind of a mold and seat it pretty well. I have two pieces of foam that I have to join together because I did not have enough of the inch and a half to uh, create that the square piece that I needed. So I'm gonna have to join those two pieces today and uh, hopefully it'll be a, a time lapse. We also today have a helper and that is little Lila. Hi Lila, what are you doing? Are you gonna help me today? Look at me. Yeah, you're gonna help me. Good girl, good girl. So these are the two pieces that I have to join together and they will be on the top part of the porter potty. Of course, I created it using this template. See there? I didn't have enough foam to do both, uh, to do the whole thing, so I ended up having to use two pieces of foam. I got the seam all filled with thickened epoxy, and I'm gonna let it dry. I also did some backfilling on a few of the pieces. Uh, this is the slider for the galley shelf that I'm building. Little helper. What you doing, puppy? What you doing? Huh? What you doing? Oh, good girl. Good girl. Okay, so I was out here this morning adjoining the two pieces for the hatch on the top porta potty. Now I'm about to do some glassing here. Um, I have three layers of 1708 that I'm going to be placing on just because I want to reinforce. Uh, that crack that I had joined together and uh, we'll take a look and get a little bit closer to that and uh, stay tuned for the time lapse. Yeah. So here you can see the multiple layers of 1708 that I'll be placing and then the I have one strip that I'll probably end up putting on over the crack just because I really want this to be strong but that's the adjoined crack there and it came out pretty good and it's uh it's kind of tacky, so uh, I want a, a chemical bond between all the layers and that, so I think I, that's why I want to do this right now. But uh, yeah, let's take a look and uh, see if we can do this real quick.
All right, so before I get started today, I wanted to go over a few things of what I'm gonna do. So this is the companionway step down that I created yesterday. And I put the three layers of 1708 on top of this, so it's extremely strong. Now, on the bottom side of this, I left it foam because what I do need to do is figure out where exactly the indention for uh, the porter potty is gonna go. And so I have this lipstick here. I'm gonna mark the top of the porter potty and then place this on top of it and that'll give me the outline for where I have to cut and do the, the, rec the recessed um, indention on this foam and then I'll fiberglass over that. So that'll keep the porta potty locked in place when this is on top of it in the companionway step down. Now what I also have to do is uh, fine tune the edges of the slider for the galley area and finish fiberglassing. Um, I found some more dry rot here on the sea underneath, so I replaced that with some plywood. I have to finish fiberglassing the top of that. And then there's a, a few more pieces that I have to finish fine tuning the edges of. Um, you may you can see it right there as well. So yeah, that's what I have to do today. Um, hopefully it all goes smoothly and hopefully I get some of it on film. So. Now I go ahead and grind off a bit of the extra fiberglass on the companionway step down, then move on to the galley slider and the other hatch you see there uh, that needed a little bit of a epoxy patchwork. I go ahead and sand that down as well and level out any high spots I find. I then move myself inside the boat to work on the companionway step down and do a little fine tuning on the top hatch and figure out exactly where the recessed indention needs to go. I also tinker around with some of the other components of the boat to get a good feel of how everything's going to fit when it's all said and done. Now you can see exactly where I plan to put the porter potty under the top hatch and the companionway step down there. I also have a spot right in front of the porter potty to place the bilge pump and hopefully this will allow for quick drainage of uh, any water that happens to get inside the bilge. And remember that I don't plan to actually put a floor on this so the bilge and the floor are all one. So I place some lipstick there on the top of the porta potty to help mark the exact location of the indention on the foam and the top hatch. Uh, now I put a little force on this, um, as you can see with me sitting on there, and uh, it kind of marked out the high spots of where the indention needs to lie. So I go ahead and grind that out. So I have everything designed for the companionway step down. I have the cloth laid out here on the deck and the companionway step down right there. I'm going to cut about three or four layers of 1708 and uh, hopefully that will reinforce the bottom side of this. What I also did was cut like a grid, grid like grooves in the bottom foam of the companionway step down to kind of act as stringers and I'm going to fill that with thickened epoxy and that will reinforce uh, the step down and make it a little bit more rigid because um, it was bowing just a little bit. Now the cloth will help, but I think those uh, stringers will also uh, do a lot for that step down. Now I also designed a, the lip for the slider on the back side of that, uh, that galley slider that latches in with the, the folding galley shelf. Uh, I'm going to cut some cloth for that now and 
I also need to cut a few pieces of cloth for just a little bit of dry rot that I found in the back of the boat. Uh, I'm going to cloth about three layers of 1708 back there. So yeah, let's get to it. So I start the process of fiberglassing the top companionway step down and as I mentioned before in the previous clip I go ahead and fill those stringers in with thickened epoxy and lay three layers of 1708 over top of that to make sure that everything is extra strong when it's all said and done. Now I go ahead and clean up the area for the back support on the galley slider and go ahead and grind down a few screws that are in the way and be careful not to set myself on fire in the process. I then mark out the area where I want the support to go and go ahead and cut the piece to size.
I end up laying a few layers of 1708 tape across this support member, but don't actually catch much of it on camera. I go ahead and test out the fit before I do so and uh, make sure that everything fits up to spec. So after permanently installing the back support member for the galley slider, I go ahead and recore and refiberglass the companionway slider. After 30 years, the core on this slider was still structurally sound, and even with the crowbar and hammer, I still had problems getting it up. It brought me back to the first days when I owned this boat and started removing the core all around. It was a real nightmare, and laying upside down with a crowbar and hammer trying to peel the balsa wood off the fiberglass was an insane amount of work which I did not film and was before the start of these episodes. After the core was peeled up, I went ahead and ground down all the fiberglass that remained and made sure there was no high spots and everything was smoothed out just perfectly so I could continue to add the thickened epoxy and new core to the companionway slider. Again, the poor man's boat is made of scraps. I go ahead and dip into the extra core cuts I had from episode 6 and piecemeal the companionway slider together. I fill any gaps in with thickened epoxy and the extra pieces of core lying around. Once the core and the thickened epoxy are dried, I go ahead and grind down the surface to prepare the companionway slider for a few layers of fiberglass. Now I'm not using 1708 for once, I actually have a different type of mat here that I purchased from the fiberglass store at discount. So fiberglassing the top companionway slider concludes this episode of Neon Swell. I really appreciate you checking out my boat build and I hope you got some entertainment out of this video. If you're new to the channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button. And if you really enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up as well. It really helps this channel grow and make sure you come back for more episodes as there's plenty of videos to come.